The Asus Zephyrus G14 was an amazing laptop. It was one of the best laptops of 2020, and it continues to be a great laptop in 2021. In fact, it didn't really have any competition until the Razer Blade 14 came out on the market. Now, I know some of you are looking for a powerful 14-inch laptop, and you now have choices. Are you gonna get the Zephyrus G14, or are you leaning towards the Blade 14? I will say this though, if you already have a G14, whether it's from this year or last year, you got no reason to be jealous because your laptop is still amazing. Now, if you're considering one of these, these are both very light laptops. They're both under four pounds, but technically the Zephyrus G14 is a bit lighter. The Blade 14 on the other hand is smaller. It's about 17% smaller in overall volume compared to the G14. In fact, if you pick any of these up, they feel like the exact same weight. And I don't think it's gonna make a difference when it's inside of your back. Build quality on both of these devices are good. I don't have too many complaints, but if I want to nitpick, Blade 14 picks up a lot more fingerprints because of that black anodized aluminum. The lid flex is pretty equal, but slightly squishier on the G14. In terms of aesthetics, super subjective. Some of you might prefer the cleaner look of the G14 with its reflective material underneath the CNC holes of the top chassis. Others might prefer the black theme with the snakes in the middle with more of a gaming vibe to it, more of a MacBook gaming vibe to it. I will say this 14 does feel solid, like when you open this up, it feels like you're opening up a MacBook Pro. Even little things, like when you close the display, there's more of a satisfying thump with the Blade 14 compared to the G14. Now ports, they both have the same amount of ports. Like for example, they both have two USB ports, your regular USB-A ports, and they have two USB Type-C ports. The main difference though, is that the Type-C ports on the Razer Blade are both Gen 2, whereas on the G14, only one of the Type-C ports are Gen 2, and the other one is Gen 1, which obviously offers less data throughput. The other thing to note is the HDMI port. This one is an HDMI 2.1 port, whereas the G14 is using 2.0B. So same amount of ports, a little bit of difference, but they're pretty equal in terms of what you can connect to it. The other thing to note is that if you do buy the G14, the power brick is going to be smaller, right? You're, you're using a 180 watt power brick compared to 230 because the Blade 14 can be spec'd all the way up to an RTX 3080. Now the keyboards on both of these devices are very well laid out, but I prefer the keyboard on the G14. The keys are spaced better, they're more tactile, they're easier to type on. The Blade 14s are not bad, but they have more of a mushy click to it, which I don't prefer. Touchpad is better on the Blade 14 though. It's just a much bigger touchpad. They're both very accurate to use, but I prefer the extra space that the Blade 14 offers. You do get a few extra macro keys with the G14 that you don't get on the Blade 14, but if you're into RGB, you can customize each individual key on the Blade 14 where you can't on the G14. Now, if you're looking for some privacy features, the Blade 14 has Windows Hello to quickly log you in, but you don't get that fingerprint scanner. The Zephyrus G14 doesn't even have a camera, so it can't log you in using your face, but there is a fingerprint scanner embedded inside of the power button. Sound quality on both of these laptops are pretty good, but the G14 just has more speakers to work with. Two top firing speakers and two woofers on the bottom compared to the two speakers that are on top of the G14. Now both of these laptops are geared towards gamers first, hence why there's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's just preferred for media consumption and gaming. Personally, I would have loved to see 16 by 10, but maybe on a future model. The next thing is both laptops can be purchased with a full HD or QHD panel. Unfortunately, I don't have two full HD models here. Uh, the Blade 14 is QHD and the G14 is full HD, but I have tested the Blade 14 with its full HD display and it's very equal to what the G14 offers. Both panels, regardless of whether you go with QHD or FUHD, 
PUHD, full HD, have fantastic color accuracy, good gamut, and screen brightness. The only benefit of the blade is you get a better QHD panel because it has a higher refresh rate. You can go up to 165 hertz compared to 120 on the G14. Now, quite frankly, might not be a big deal to you because 120 hertz with an RTX 3060 is more than plenty. Now, I'm not gonna compare GPU performance just because the Blade 14 is rocking an RTX 3080, but I will say that the 3060 version of this boosts anywhere from 80 to 100 watts, whereas on the G14, you're kind of stuck between 65 and 80 watts. There is one thing different. This is specced with a Ryzen 9 5900HS. This is a Ryzen 9 5900HX. HX means unlocked. But quite frankly, based on the tests that I ran on these computers, I didn't see that much of a difference in terms of CPU performance. Like if you're talking strictly synthetics, Cinebench R23, and you're comparing multi-core performance, yeah, it's gonna show up to be a bit faster on the Razer Blade 14, but not by much. Even single core clock speeds were only slightly better on the Blade 14. But as soon as you start doing actual real work, that's where things start to get different. Like if you're talking strictly CPU performance, ASUS is a bit more aggressive with its cooling. It allows the computer to get hotter. So I actually got a better compile time test with Mozilla Firefox on the G14 compared to the Blade 14. But if you're talking GPU performance, even the 3060 inside of the Blade 14, which I don't have here to test, should be better just because there's more power being pushed towards it. If you're curious how fast this runs compared to a 3060, this is what the stats look like at 1080p. Now, QHD gaming, I don't think is worth it on a 3060. I think you're better off with a 3070 or 3080. And this is kind of what to expect using this laptop. Now, when it comes to heat management, it's totally different with both of these laptops. ASUS is a little bit more liberal. It allows the CPU to get hot around 94 to 95 degrees Celsius. And if you're just using the CPU, I found the performance to be a bit better over the long run. But if you're a content creator and you're pushing the CPU and GPU at the same time, the Blade 14 performs better and you get better thermals. Like this thing never surpassed 85 degrees Celsius. The G14 allows the CPU to hit like 60 to 62 watts. This one kind of tops out around 55 watts. Fan noise is very similar between both of these laptops. This one got up to about 55 decibels, whereas the Blade 14 would top out at 58 decibels, assuming you're running everything at turbo. So the internals. Blade 14 has the smaller battery. 61 watt hours, I was only able to get five hours and 30 minutes on better battery mode, compared to seven hours and 30 minutes with the 76 watt hour battery and the G14. Both computers only have one slot for a storage drive. And right now I have them with one terabyte and they get really good read and write speeds, but you can expand it to something bigger later on. Cooling solution is also different. A vapor chamber compared to a lot of copper. They both work for their intended purposes, but Technically, the Blade 14 has a better cooling solution. The big difference though is the RAM. It's completely soldered on to the Blade 14. You cannot upgrade it and you can only get it with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The G14 on the other hand has one slot that can be upgraded. Depending on the model you get, it either comes with 16 or eight gigabytes soldered onto the motherboard, but you could potentially upgrade it to 48 gigabytes. So if you're planning on buying these laptops and you're just looking at the 3060, I'd probably just go with the G14. It's $300 cheaper and you get like 95% of the features plus a few benefits like better battery life and more speakers. If you wanted a more powerful 14 inch laptop, get the 3070 on the Blade 14. I feel like that's the sweet spot and the extra money you're paying for a 3080 is probably not worth it in the end. That wraps up my review. If you're interested in checking out any of these laptops, there'll be links in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.